The crucial feature of us as observers is that we are computationally bounded. We do computation. That's why we can have an inner sense of things going on. But the amount of computation we do is tiny compared to the computation going on in the world around us. But we can imagine a future in which we kind of expand our minds. Well, at some point, there's an issue with this, because in a sense, the idea that we have a coherent existence relies on us having limited minds. But without such constraints, there wouldn't be a coherent self that we could identify with coherent inner experience. An observer should be a subsystem whose internal states are affected by the rest of the system, but where many external states lead to the same internal state, and where there is rich dynamics within the observer, an effect operates only on its internal states. The coupling from outside the subsystem to inside effectively coarse grains what's outside so that the inner computation is operating on a much reduced set of elements. Our very existence and the possibility of our coherent inner experience depends on us operating as observers.